What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Oblivion. So I got uh, a suggestion on the previous video. Like, hey, you know, if you wanted to, you could actually start the main quest. And I was like, oh yeah, the main quest. That exists, huh? Huh. So having said that, we are not going to be starting the main quest this time. We're going to be doing another Oblivion Overhaul quest. Um, this one, which I was looking up on the uh, the wiki, is one that you basically come across randomly by going through random loot. You have to find this book. Well, we've gone through all this time and have never found this book, so we're going to go to our old friend, the console, and uh, add the book. Should be 0103. 2, 4, C, 0. We need one of them. Okay. Let's take a look. Um... Nothing? Maybe this is not one that gives you a quest marker right away. So what it's supposed to say is, uh... It's about a a sword. Lord Volmir to his lair in Nornalhorst. Somewhere between the Imperial City and Skingrad. I think, um, according to what I saw in the guide, that it's supposed to be somewhere to the east of Skingrad. I might even have it on my, uh... Maybe not. Okay, so let's go look for this place. Um... We'll start from here. Why not? And the quest reward for this one is a unique sword, supposedly. The same one referenced in the, uh, book. Go figure. Well, um, I guess we'll just run around until we find it. Unless the guide has something more specific, which I don't remember if it does. I'm thinking this area, because we haven't really gone up here. Oh, I just saw Goblin Jim's cave. Rest in peace, my friend. In peace. So having made the jokes about the main quest, um, I am going to probably get to the main quest pretty soon. The thing is, once you start the main quest, you start getting the Oblivion Gates. And so far, I've been quite enjoying not having the Oblivion Gates. <laughs> um, the thing is... There are no cliff racers in this game, right? But the Oblivion Gates are almost like cliff racers in how annoying they are. So, hmm. Uh, whose shrine is this? Let's go check that out first. Is it Umbra? Did I already find Umbra? I can't remember. Or not Umbra, but you know what I mean. No, that was Clavicus Vile's shrine, is the Umbra quest. This might be Sanguine. Did I find Sanguine already? Malagbal. Uh, so there was one of the Oblivion Overhaul quests that I remember reading. Supposedly you cannot complete. It was either Molagbal or Malakath's quest. 
If you complete either of those, then um, you will not be able to do this Oblivion Overhaul quest. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but uh, I'll have to look it up, so we're not going to touch that this time. Our Fincel. Um... Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we might end up doing a cut here pretty quick. I'm going to keep looking for a little bit longer. I mean, the guy supposedly was found, like, on the road here, right? So, it should be around here somewhere. Seems an odd place to uh, build a settlement, doesn't it? Okay, well, uh, give me a second. Let me figure out where this place is. Well, here it is. I don't know. I was just not on the right track. Now, the book, supposedly, is supposed to add a quest to your uh, journal and everything, but obviously that didn't happen, so I'm not sure why that is. But uh, the other way is to just go in here and take it, so that's what we'll be doing. Well now. These guys are a little bit stronger than your run-of-the-mill vampires. They're also quite a bit more aware than your average run-of-the-mill vampires. Actually, don't even need those. Hey. Is this what we're doing? Are you really just going to try punching me? Dang it. What kind of armor is that? Oh, Elven Knight armor. Okay. I can dig it? I think I have a full set of that already. Or close to one. But, uh... Sooner or later here, we are going to actually want to switch over to light armor once we start doing the sneaky, sneaky uh, factions. But we got a ways to go before we do that. There's supposedly some... Uh... Yes, you are. There's supposedly some 
pretty good armor that we can get from one of these quests. Who's there? Flip. This is some intense combat going on right now. Ah. I need to find that one guy that is on me, but... Like, can't get to me. Oh well. Oh, that is way too bright. Alright, we're going to have to go sicko mode here. <laughs> Speedy little boy. This way. Where'd you come from? Two reflects. Three. Four. And <laughs> four reflects in a row. You love to see it. I need to burn some of these healing potions anyway, so... Witch Hunter. Kind of a cool build. Had like a big Warhammer thing, some conjuration, and a bow. Kind of different. Uh, we could check that real quick. It might be that that's just the exit, you know. But uh, whatever, we'll check it real quick. See, it's a good thing we checked it. That said, this might not have really been worth my time coming over here. I got a repair hammer out of it. Can't complain. Speaking of which...
wonder if we got any hidden chests up here, like there sometimes are. Aha. That's the upper area, right, that I can't get to yet? Yeah. I actually need to go back this way. Okay. I'll save your eyes by doing this. Or at least save mine. I was waiting to see if he was going to appear at the store. You know how sometimes they do that? Guess not. Okay, well, uh, I probably cut that entire portion out. I did end up getting horribly murdered. So, that was kind of cool, actually. We're going to approach this uh, a little bit more carefully this time, I think. Turns out there are uh, a lot of enemies in here. And although I can deal with most enemies in a one-on-one, -on -one, not necessarily the case when I have literally the entire dungeon attacking me at once. So we will be a little bit more careful. Where are you? That was not bad, right? Just now with the... Like, yeah, I can kill her before the golem gets to me. Just according to Keikaku. Last shield. Very nice. Alright. So far, so good. That was a good dodge on my part. Ooh, that one I wasn't going to be able to dodge. Oh, that's annoying. Staff of Corrosion. What a jerk. Oh, okay. Evidently you didn't hear your teammate scream like super loud. All 
Right. Really? Okay. I think I have that already, but I'll take it. Actually, I suppose I could be shooting those with uh, Destruction Magic, huh? To work on leveling up that skill, but... Well, <laughs> too late now. Okay, so the dangerous spot is as we start going that way. The Thief Catcher. Not sure if that makes any sense, but whatever. Do I hear skeletons? Hmm. Yeah, I knew that was going to put me way overweight, so... That's a cool weapon. Um, really not that heavy for what it is. That can go. That can go. There we go. I definitely hear skeleton. These walls are gonna open up. And as I grab this, I actually did not come in this room before. Maybe they're over there. Okay, so we're gonna play this a little bit, a little bit safe. There's our skeleton. through existence there. Not fair. Full set of Dwemer. Elven axe. The good thing is those golems cannot fit through the doors. Which we have taken advantage of many, many times over the course of the playthrough. Mm. Alright, how are we looking? 
skeletons know I'm there. Unfinished Elven Curious. I was trying to figure out what that armor was. Any axe? No, no, no! I what? I. Uh, but why? Can we? I mean, I wanted that. Okay. Take out my rage on you. See if I can make the same thing happen. Moving on. Alright, I think one of these is our big bad. With Chameleon right there. I don't see how I'm going to be able to pull these guys, though. I guess like that. I guess that's exactly how I'm going to pull. I'm just carrying around like three sets of boots for no reason whatsoever. I like it. You know, technically I don't have this. Gosh dang it. This, so we'll take it. Uh, I'm just going to ditch this because it's super heavy. Fortunately, they don't just alert their buddies. They just immediately run off and their buddies are like, yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, that might be our big bad guy. Yep, yep, okay, he just disarmed me, that's good. Very good. Uh, we'll go ahead and chuck some healing potions here. Don't even know what's happening right now. Give me that. And as always, it unhotkeys it. This guy's pretty strong, though. I'll give him that. Well, now I've been burdened. Not great. Okay. This is not even me getting ganged up on, and I'm actually getting beaten by this guy. We're going to have to just brute force this with healing potions, I think. Fortunately, I am... Uh, reflecting some of this. Alright. The ancient master of vampires, Lord Volmer, falls to the ground, defeated at last by the power of my chugging infinite healing potions. Bright light emanates from his body, releasing energy all around. The legendary demon, who I just found out about like 20 minutes ago, now lies dead, no longer cursed to roam the world in unlife. He lost his immortality, and I gained mine. Really? Oh. Like, figurative.
All right, that guy was tough. And now I'm going to be incredibly overweight here. Full ebony armor, though. That is classy. It is actually better, technically, than what I have, I think, in terms of armor value. Okay, how am I going to do this? I'm overweight by over a hundred. All right, well that's gonna go. That's gonna go. That's gonna go. These are gonna go. That's gonna go. Uh, I really want the ebony armor. So I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, I could do this. I could do this. Um, boom. That's why I keep this around. Alright, I seriously doubt anybody else up there is going to be as tough as that guy. But, we'll give it a second. What an intense fight this is. <laughs> I think I have a Curious of the Spy already. Do I? Uh... Now I'm second guessing. The glass stuff, though, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm pretty sure I have these. We'll ditch them. Like, really worst case scenario, I could technically come back, like, make another trip, but I don't want to do that, so. Wait, how the heck do I get down to uh, those skeletons? The Light of Dawn. Uh, sword responds to my grass, strange sensation, terrible anger, and thirst for vengeance. All right, so supposedly the way this thing works. Interesting. Supposedly the way it works is uh, it starts off at a base level of power, and every however many vampires we kill, it actually powers up. So I think the first one is 50 vampires, and then after that is uh, 200 vampires or something. Which sounds really, really annoying, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know, though, about it being better than... Whoops. Oh, reacts to the death of a vampire. What did that just say? Um, I should kill as many vampires as I can. Yes, correct. Well met, traveler. 
So we s I must return to my It's your lucky day. You don't know it, but I've saved your life. Okay. I think it just now said that it attempted to cure a disease. But I don't think it succeeded because my fatigue is still down. All right, we'll run by the church on the way out. Where is this? Okay, we got to go back around. Give me a second. Because I fell down. Okay, so let's see what's in uh, all these chests up here. You know what I was also thinking about? I literally completed the entire Mage's Guild, and I never enchanted anything. One thing that would be kind of nice, a second one, huh? Well, is to have a uh, Night Eye item that doesn't also have uh, Detect Life on it, because that Detect Life is super annoying, actually. Okay, so, once again, overweight. I'm pretty sure I have these capes, so we'll ditch those. Uh, let's use repair hammers. Nope. Use repair hammers. Clear up a little bit, and we'll make some potions. All right, that'll free up a little bit of weight. This time we will not jump down. I just want to loot the thing. Hey. Okay. So here's the thing, I don't know how badly I want to run around and kill 200 vampires with this thing. Um, maybe what I do is I just carry it with me, and instead of like, oh, we're going to finish this quest right now, what I do is uh, just carry it with me. And then anytime I come across vampires, kill them with it. Well, it looks like the way you get in that other area is over there, so let's go check that real quick. Aha! Is that hurting anybody else's eyes?
Okay. So that is that uh, dungeon cleared. Take a look at the quest thing again. Yeah, basically I should attempt to kill as many vampires as I can. Oh, I want to see what that one message was. Um, let's equip that sword again. See, it didn't say anything that time about trying to cure the disease or whatever. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, well, uh, let's go back. I'll cure the disease, and then uh, we'll wrap our episode up, I think. Yeah. All right, everybody. What uh, lovely weather we're having here. Let's go back indoors. I want to thank you all very much for watching. It was a reasonably uh, successful episode, I suppose. Uh, before we go, I guess I could show you my collection, how that's coming along, right? It's all stored here inside this humble shack. But, uh, yeah, quite a lot of decent stuff in here. Actually, I have some duplicates of these. I didn't even notice that. Yep, yep, it keeps going. <laughs> All right, I was going to drop in uh, these. Two of those, so I got to sell one. All right. And then uh, here are the clothing items. Yep. And the armors. So I'm going to have a lot to choose from here when I decide to go light armor. Also, it turns out I did not have blood leather greaves, so rip. But oh well. Ebony. Knight. Elven Knight. The glass stuff I'm still working on. Ornate Obsidian is kind of interesting, too. A lot of interesting stuff. So, yeah. The collection's coming along. The quests are coming along. I actually am thinking we're going to get started with the main quest pretty quick here. I'm not sure if it's going to be next episode. We might uh, try out some more Daedric quests or something next episode. I don't know. We'll see. Um... But uh, until next time, I do want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.